Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. What is going on, guys? What is going on? Welcome I back to focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Welcome back to another video. As you guys already know, before we get into it, I'm gonna need you guys to hit that thumbs up. I'm gonna need you guys to subscribe bell already. If you haven't already, hit the bell for post notification. If you missed that on last episode, which you shouldn't, because you had two weeks, that video will be down below in the link in the description. So with that all being done and said. I would not be going over last episode because I actually just want to get, you know, keep it going. So with that being said, let's go over these messages real quick. And it looks like we have a lot to go over. So let's start off with the first message. And that is from Chloe, who she's in a room with me. So I have no clue why would she text me. So let's see what did she say. So basically she said, um, let's go up. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, so we already ready about to get that button gear now, Max. Hey, Max, I suck again. Sorry I got in your face today and took out my bullcrap rage on my best friend. Um, okay, and Max says, Chloe, I understand you're going through a lot. We all are. Besides, I threw your beanie out the window and busted out my rerun okay that that is your one get out of emoji jail free card but we need to stock up on cigarettes coffee and candy for an all nighter we have to get into rachel's and kate detective mode excellent dear watson dear watson i will bring my thinking cap no worries i have a beanie i will swing by and pick you up sweet I will be ready. It's so, it's so. And that was no emoji from Chloe. Then we got one for Frank. No, we got one from Dad. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, okay, so if you want to come back home and relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Love, Pop. Then she said, thanks, Pop. It's been intense here, but I'm not ready to come home. Talk later, Max. S-O-S-O. -S -O. Hey, honey, I just got a real text warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? And it's from a block number. Oh, I'm so sorry. Some Jack A in my class thought it would be funny to see him. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me neither. Sorry. I'm just being the dad. I know this has been a tough week for you. It's almost over. I will call you guys later. Love you. Mom. We got a test for mom. Um. Okay. Hey, honey. I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you. But don't drown it either. Mommy. Max, please call us as soon as you can. We know this is painful and we want to know how you are. So please, please get in touch. And if you want to come and spend time, some time back home, the door is open and your bed is made. We love you. I'll call you right away. Love you, says Max. It was so good to hear your voice. Remember what we talked about. You was there for your friend when she had nobody else and kept and Kate made her own choice. Nobody could expect more than what you did. You are our hero, and we love you so much, Maxine. Call us anytime if you need to talk or visit. Now, I could have did more, but I lied to Matt. I lied to Kate, which led to her death. Maxine, what the heck is going on with the wood up there? Are they doing military tests or something? You are right in the eye of the storm. No comment. I have kept Lisa alive through all of this, so we are still safe. As long as you're around, with a smiley face, says Max, mama. Now back to the books. Talk soon. It's so, Max. It's so. Then we got a test from Witcher Morris, which is Kate Morris' dad. 
Mrs. Cowfield, I wanted to thank you so much for your actions with my daughter Kate. You showed true grace and bravery when you went up to that roof with her. You must know that you did all that was possible and that Kate's life was never in your hands or even hers at that point. Kate has left us for another word, but she will always be with us. And I know she wants you to have a long, dynamic, blessed life. Our family will forever include you in our prayers. Peace and joy, Richard Marsh. Max, this is Richard Marsh again. I wanted to let you know that Kate service next week and our family would like to attend an invitation to you. I know that you've been through a lot and we fully understand if you can't attend. Kate was our special angel and your friendship with her blessed us all. I will send you all the details later tonight later today again thank you for being the light in the darkness thank you mr marsh i will absolutely i will absolutely will attend the service i know my words don't mean much but i want you to know that kate is always in my thoughts and always will be and that was it okay so basically we got to go over these clues so frank's clues Gather info. Uh, gather info on the character by selecting all the correct clues for each sir for each Let's session. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Okay. Um. So weird how close they were, but Frank couldn't keep Rachel or protect her. Um, I don't think they have nothing to do with what we're looking at. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. All right. Um, there's gonna have to be something about this book, and then let's see what this Rot paper must says. must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Okay. So this letter So what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Oh, let's Frank see. is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? Mm -hmm. David Mann and Nathan Prescott has both come to my office to warn me that Rachel M has been a drug move and Mr. Madison Talk Radio acting as a front for another local dealer considering Rachel's status. I'm told that David that I would need more concrete proof and he promised me that he had more to show. Um. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Okay. Um. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Right, right, right. So what's next? Investigate. Uh, Nathan's clues. We're gonna finish Nathan's. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. Oh. Uh, what could help me unlock this phone? Let's see. I need the phone. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Hmm. Okay. What is that, though? <sighs> There's oh, a okay. lot of numbers in here. Okay, okay. And oh, this paper. So busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Okay, we will get the point that Nathan Prescott has a various classes over the past months, despite repeated warnings and literacy due to a crude outburst in Mrs. Holder's entry to lyric class on Tuesday. Nathan was sent back to his dorm for the day without a proper writer for his lines. Nathan has an enormous potential, but a erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you would discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him severity of this situation. Please see the attached files for the full report. Um, if there is a dark room, 
Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Um. So it's not the sim card? Oh, it's not this. Okay, Max. Okay. Let's blow this code up and go home. So let's go to the phone, right? Let's start hacking. I gotta remember, boy. I gotta remember. <laughs> okay. Um. One one one. One one one. Oops. Bad code. Okay, so it's obviously not that. Um. Nine five three five. Nine nine five three five. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Uh, we ain't giving up yet. Zero zero five eight. Zero zero five. You eight. locked it, dumbass. Uh. Into what? But I'm not finna do it. Okay, so. Okay, so it's gonna be uh five four three one. Five four. Three, you one. locked it, dumbass. Hey, don't be calling me to have my name. Okay. Um, three nine. Was that a three nine eight eight eight? So we just gonna do. Okay, so I'm back, y'all. We just gonna have to do this the easy way. Apparently, this is the easy way. So we just gonna do this the easy way. Uh, eight oh eight. Booyah! Okay, so Let's we're back. Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Okay, what's up, me the G? Okay, cool. You sold me water, a o. Calm down, bring it to me. Bringing it, stay away. Pigs on the beach. Yes. You home? Got this the party is all tonight, about huh? Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. On the way, load the bowl. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Hey, I need to score SAAP. I don't make house calls. You have a car. No time. Charge me double. Dang right. Have cash on you. No messing around. Give me the address. I'm calling you the exact directions. In transcend. Get the money Drug out. Drug dealer drama. You up, bro? No. What do you need? Skeeto acid. You paying night prices. Don't make me wait. Sorry for being. Need more stuff. You home? Yes. Don't come. F on. God, Nathan. You're hey. out of control. Need weed, etc. Now, calm yourself. You tweak it soon. Hook a brother up, please. Meet Beach. Be cool this time. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Keep your mouth shut about everything. Or I'm coming for you. I know where you sleep. No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Hey, Feminized will be in the street. Watch out. Is this out. from Nathan's father? Please do not contact me. At work, I told you this before. And being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not just a hobby. You want me to treat you like an adult and get things done on his own? Impress me. I like nothing more than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Okay. So we got everything we need to know. So now we just gotta do David clues. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Um, the map. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Um, I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel M, but she seemed quite upset and claimed that David was following her and taking fo photographs. David would deny this and given the course of the company Rachel has been keeping. I am not certain I can believe her right now. Um,. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. Kate's picture. Select. Okay, this is just sad, Max. Um. Max's picture. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Um. So what's so what am I doing wrong here? Um, 
documents to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. And that's all she wrote. Okay. <sighs> Please Jesus. let me find some clues about Nathan in here. David's clues. Great. Now I now we gotta we get ready to if these you F up my dorm, I will kill your scholarship. War. And now I have to get back to reality. That sucks. Indeed, I will buzz you later. Um, nothing really. Just him How being a How do I find simp. out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Which car is Nathan? Yep. Okay, Nathan's tail light is busted. And I'm. This makes no sense, Max. If his tail light busted. Is this Nathan's car? Okay, Nathan's tail light is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. So is this right here, okay. Now we're finally All right. getting So somewhere. we finally get it, y'all. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. I mean, why would he have it at the house, though? I don't understand that. Investigate. Take a Pick. breath, Max. Go through all this data, and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Shoots, this is a lot. <laughs> okay, we got this. Oh. Uh, no, it, it can't be that. It can't. Um. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. I know uh, Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. Not much out there. Uh, oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <laughs> Poor, rich Nathan. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Okay, um... I, I'm, I'm gonna put that right there. Select that. And then I have to see. Okay, so load the bowl. Uh, let's see. Okay, that right there. Yep. That looked like it got something to do with that dude. So, this infamous party was the fourth. It was what? The fourth? So, this infamous party was the fourth. Okay, okay, the fourth. The fourth, the fourth, the fourth, the fourth. Okay, so okay, so he was getting gas. The fourth, the fourth. What time was it? So hey. this infamous party was the fourth. The fourth. Yeah, I think that's it. This makes no sense, Max. The fourth. The fourth. Okay, I got it. Right. Like he drove or something? This is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. What's going on here, man? Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. What they do with Somebody Rachel, named man? Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody except each other. So we okay. have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. 
We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. She can't keep I using like her this power. Close to Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Right, right. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. 